Hello, my name is Mark Essien. I'm the CEO and founder of Hotels.ng, which is the biggest online hotel booking portal in Nigeria. And these are my startup lessons. The very first thing that I would like to emphasize is the importance of hiring right. Um, it is something that is often spoken about. Everybody says you should hire the best. You should be sure that, you know, that the people that are working with you are really, really good. But in spite of that, so many people don't know how to practically go about hiring the right people. The first thing that you have to understand is that there are a lot of people that are looking for jobs, but not everybody that is looking for a job actually wants to, is very passionate about the type of work that you are doing in your own company. So what you need to do is that you need to take a lot of time to select the people that you know really love that job, the people for whom the job is right. Because when people really like the job, they are going to give a lot to the job and they'll make it happen properly. So what you should do, or the way that I do it, or the way that I've learned to do it now, is that you ask people a lot of questions, get make sure that these people know how to properly communicate the answers to the questions and make it that the answers uh, show that they are passionate about that kind of work. When you do that, then you end up having people that really want to work in the company. Initially, uh, a lot of the hiring I did was very ad hoc. You know, anybody that needs a job, if it looked like, okay, well, you can kind of fulfill this job, then I'm going to hire you. But over time, I found that that is not effective. That if you have a different type of person, a person that works very well with you, works very well with the companies and is passionate about that job, then you can have way, way better output from that person. The person will be happy and the company will be happy. The second thing that I have found is very important is that as your business scales, you need to delegate responsibility away from you and you need to empower people to become managers in the company. And a key way of doing that is by letting them take decisions. If you, as the boss or the, the more senior person, are making all the decisions, then what happens is that the whole company starts revolving around you. People do not make their own decisions and you become uh, a, cent a central part of the company and in that way become a bottleneck. But if you let people manage departments, let them, take, uh, let them have real autonomy and let them actually be able to make a decision without needing to check with you, then you now see that people start making good decisions. They may start off making a few bad decisions, but you know one can very easily tell them that wasn't the right way and this is why it wasn't right. Now they learn how to make decisions. And when you have a company that has strong managers, the entire company becomes strong. So the key lesson that I learned there was, I shouldn't make decisions for people. Let people make their own decisions. All I do is just watch. And if the decision is wrong, I can then help them understand why they should have decided a certain way. The third thing that I, that I have learned is that in every business, there are a set of things that are very, very important and other things that are not important. But when you, analyze, when you simply look at the business, there's just a long list, a long list of 10, 20, 30 things to do. But if you did all those 30, you'll find that all your results could come maybe from three or maybe from four. It is very important that as quickly as possible, you focus your energy, your effort and your time on those things that are actually producing a result and leave the other things. Unfortunately, it, op it often happens that there are things in the list of 30 things that are much more fun to do, much more interesting to do or much more fitting to your personality. So you go around doing those ones because after all, you are still working. But you find out that if you actually take the time to focus on the priorities, then that can really, really change the, the trajectory of the company. So it's very one, the one thing that I've learned there is that one should constantly examine the company and say, what is the most important thing, irrespective of what I like to do? And let us focus on doing that thing first. After we have done that thing, we can do, go and do anything else. The final thing that I would like to highlight is understanding the unit economics of the business and understanding the business in terms of departmental profitability. Understanding the unit economics means 
if you sell your goods for a certain amount of money how much does it really really cost to fulfill the to fulfill that particular uh, order how much did it cost you to buy how much did it cost you to transport and how much did it cost you to market and within your entire outfit your entire business you could find out that there are some goods that do very well but there could also be goods that you have forgotten about that you don't notice that are actually doing poorly when you factor in the cost of marketing that good so one should always make sure that the cost of marketing the good is really well factored into the delivery of the goods and very similarly when you have a company that is a little bit bigger like our company is a hundred people now you are going to have departments when you have departments you have to look at the departmental profitability that's one thing that i've learned that is very important so what this means is that if your company is making let's say 1 million naira and you have three departments or you you then have to look at how much does of that 1 million naira how much is each individual department absorbing now if you were to share the depart the money that you are earning and you would say okay this unit is to get 15% of the money this unit is getting 35% this is getting this many percentage is the allocation of the money to that department equivalent to the amount of money that um, that the department is spending for example if you are allocating 300k uh, of your earnings to that department does that department cost more than 300k to run if so then you need to either go and look at your allocation formula or you go and you actually reduce the size of a department to something that matches what was actually allocated when you do that then you end up with an overall profitable company the unit economics of your company for from a very broad level then start to work what well, i found that once i had done that it was much easier to build a profitable company much easier to know where we are doing where we are having waste and where we are having where we are not investing enough money and because of that you know these are some of the lessons that have actually made the business that i run you know, grow from where it was now to probably the biggest in Nigeria. Thank you very much.